Hello and welcome to Trivial 10, the show that provides you with offbeat facts about any given subject. Today we are diving in with your marinara, <laughs> with that ranch, <laughs> with that cheese sauce, mm. all the way in on breadsticks. Breadsticks, man. You gotta love them, you gotta hate them, you don't gotta do anything. Or maybe you do. But today, we're going to be giving you some excellent stuff about breadsticks, so prepare to dive in. Here we go. I'm Juan. That's Jordan. Let's get trivial. Come on. <laughs> so, question number one. Are you ready? Oh, I'm... Dude, wait, hey, that's dude. right. I got a question for oh, okay. right off the bat. Yeah, you threw me off I'm not that. even waiting for the quizzle dizzle. All right. We're just going straight into Let's it. Let's do it. Where did breadsticks originate? Italy. You want, you want the choices? Because you went pretty quick Oh, that. I did. I'm yeah. sorry. It was multiple choice. Okay. It was multiple okay, choice. Let's take... Okay. Italy? No, okay. Greece? Oh. Morocco or the Ottoman Empire? Oh, geez. Man, he threw the Ottoman Empire. I, I want to go Italy, but I think that that's wrong. That's the obvious choice. It doesn't go Greece. No. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Morocco. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's actually Italy. It was in Turin, Italy. Is when it, You were right right off the bat, but I was like, I'm not letting them get No. <laughs> I've gotten fine. so many questions wrong. <laughs> no, no, you, no, I get it. I get it. That's fine. Yeah. So, 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 uh, breadsticks actually originated in Turin, Italy. And that's, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it vague. Okay. I'm going to keep it vague right now because I don't want to give away some of like the other things that we got coming up. Mm -hmm. Um, some of the excellent calorical goodness oh, of the breadstick. Ooh, I like that. Calorical. Uh, but yeah, so, so trivial fact number two when it comes to that is that it was actually invented in 14 BCE before Common Era, just in case you didn't know. They apparently they switched that. Yeah. So it's BCE now. Yeah. Instead of like before Christ. Yeah. Because the Gregorian calendar is, they're trying to make it where the calendar is neutral enough for everybody. Anyways. Uh, so, anyways, that was their reasoning. Uh, yeah. 14 BCE before uh, Common Era, they had the consistency of crackers. Okay. And they lasted for days. Oh. Now I'm dropping you some hints because I got some more questions for you throughout. So okay. I'm dropping some hints for y'all as well, too. So okay. I'll go over that one more time. 14 BCE, they had the consistency of crackers and they lasted for days. So we're not talking like going to the OG, which is Olive Garden for you who don't know. Right. And it's which soft, ironically enough is not the OG. Uh, which is not the OG. <laughs> You're exactly right. The OG that's not the OG. Yeah. But it's not soft, buttery, and covered in salt. To be Correct. dipped in an extra boat of Alfredo sauce. Correct. We're talking. This is. I'm talking like about a cracker, authentic breadsticks. Like a like a salting cracker consistency, almost. Exactly. Okay. I'm not talking about these Americanized. Yeah. I'm talking about authentic breadsticks. Uh -huh. Legit. With an extra C. The actual OG. Authentic. I, authentic. Yeah. I got it. it. Didn't make any sense. You're, no, you're trying to Unless share something. The guy who invented the word authentic had a stutter. Perhaps. Authentic. It's actually more fun to say it like that. You sound like an angry squirrel. <laughs> uh, you sound like the squirrel version of J.R.R. Tolkien. Yes, uh, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Number three. Yes. Number three. Italians call breadsticks grissini. Huh. All right, so repeat after me. Okay. Uh, grissini. A grissini. Perfect. I didn't even have to go for it. A grissini. A grissini. Yeah. Um, so it is otherwise known as long, crunchy sticks. <laughs> long, crunchy sticks. There's a joke in there somewhere. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> Everything sounds better in a romanticized language. It does, man. <laughs> long, crunchy sticks is like, grazzini. Grazzini. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, it's like I could walk up to my wife and be like, ooh, mi amor, levantese su manos. And like make it a song sweet, but I'm saying yeah. like, hey, your hands are dirty. You need to wash your hands. <laughs> that, is that what that was? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Do, um, you, do you remember? I just have to ask. Have you? Yeah. Do you remember going to Macaroni Grill? I went to Macaroni Grill one time. Okay. Yeah. As you go to the bathroom, yeah. There, they they give you an Italian lesson the entire time you're in the bathroom. They do. That's what that reminded me of. They have you. They say the word, mm -hmm. then have somebody repeat it. Yeah. And they tell you what that means. That so is that's what awesome. That just reminded me of. Yeah. Pretty I, cool. I, I've never been to the bathroom in a Macaroni Grill before. Oh, you're missing out. I am missing out. They educate you. Yeah. Yeah, you come back smarter than you left the table. Let's go. Yeah. 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 And called it Macaroni. Yes. That's, that's not on That's there. not it. That's the Unless there was a farmer who had a dog. His name is Macaroni. No, that's, that's not bingo. it. Bingo. 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 Yes. Which threw me off last time with that one. There was something, something on a horse and called it Macaroni. Yes. Yankee Doodle went yep. to town riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his head and called him macaroni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Doctor Dandy. Take him back to Ronnie. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and that was made up by the British during the war to make fun of the Americans. And look at that. Yeah, and now we just, just sing it for fun. It. Yeah. Just look at it. Yeah. Enjoy it. History is written by the victors, my friend. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, We is. don't talk about the War of 1816. No, we don't. But I don't think we're the victors in that one. I think the British no. actually kind of handed it. burned the White House down, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, which was a jerk move. Isn't it? It's kind of a jerk move. Like, it is. Like, we didn't do that. Like, we were already gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't got to do that. No. Anyways. It's like... Anyways. God save the queen. So, yeah. God save the queen. Um, fun fact, similar, uh, in Mexico, there's a similar kind of, uh, word. Oh. Meaning, uh, churro. Churro. Yeah. Uh, which essentially means a uh, deep fried stick. Deep fried stick. Mm-hmm. So uh, you've got your bread stick. Yeah. And your deep fried stick. So you got, you got appetizer and you got dessert. Mm-hmm. Essentially. Uh, I love a churro, but I love a bread stick. But a churro is just a sweet, delicious. Yeah. Well, they're both delicious. One savory, one sweet. Sometimes you can inject them with like caramel or mocha or something like that as well, too. Golly. Pretty good. Oh my gosh. Number four. Pick four, my lord. Um, <laughs> it's another question for you. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, Balt- no, well, no, not after that first one. But yeah, go ahead. You were actually right, and then you just weren't. No. You were right until you were wrong. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. Um, okay, here we go. Multiple choice. What month? Is National Breadstick Day in? Gosh, oh mm. man. A May. B December. Mm. C October. Mm-hmm. Or D January. I'm gonna have to go. It's. I feel like it's gotta be a cold month, but usually that's when I eat more pasta when it's cold. Mm. And soup. And soup. Yeah, yeah. We we'll got go well with breadsticks. Mm-hmm. Soup or stew, chilies, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Hot roasts. January or October is where I'm thinking. I, I don't think you do it during December. I'm going to say that it's January is um, breadstick month. January, final answer? Final answer. The month that National Breadstick Day is in is the 28th uh-huh. of October. Golly! <laughs> Let's go. Dang it. Got him. Actually, I was really rooting. I don't know why I'm celebrating you getting that wrong. I was rooting for you. Thanks, man. We're a team. We're basically of the same flesh, right? I... <laughs> <laughs> That's a Bible joke. This stuff up. That's a Bible joke. <laughs> this is a Bible joke. <laughs> we, are, we are. I mean, we're all from <laughs> all from uh, Noah yeah. and his wife. Yeah. So. That's true. Yeah, that's you're not wrong. I'm not not wrong. You're not, not wrong. I mean you're wrong. Right. But I'm wrong. <laughs> but you're not wrong. Not right. I'm both not wrong and not right. Right, which is you're in the middle somewhere. The gray area. The gray area. The gray area. Absolutely. The gray area, which is not as good as the Gray Havens, but it's it's there. Gosh. We're making a lot of Tolkien references. If you guys didn't watch our last episode, you were missing Check it out. out. Check it out, man. So yeah, the twenty eighth of October. That's all I got for that one. Uh so that's actually like that's breadstick day. That is national breadstick day. That's coming up, dude. That's like next week. No, two wow. weeks. That's like two weeks from now. Two where we're recording now. this. When we're recording, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know yeah. where you are now. Yeah. So make preparations for this year. Yeah. Or start looking at 2023 uh, breadstick day. Uh, make sure to attend the um, parades. They yeah. do parades. Yeah. In uh, probably in Turin. I would. It was Turin. Uh, yeah, yeah. Turin, Turin, yep. Turin, Italy. Uh, the great parade. I don't know. I'm just making crap up. Um. <laughs> Either way, so yeah, the October twenty eighth, uh, number five. Now this is I'm going to give you a, a little bit of a of a pre pandemic, um, stat. Okay, I will. Olive Garden. We were talking about the OG. Yeah, not the OG, but OG. OG. Yeah, Olive Garden, pre pandemic, served almost nine million breadsticks a day. Wow. Which fun wow. fact is enough for the entire U.S. population to have. Two breadsticks each. Two breadsticks mm-hmm. each? Wait, so nine million nine, a day? So nine million a day. Yeah. Over the course of a year, Yeah. each American would be able to have two breadsticks each. Wow. And actually, which kind of puts in, well, no, no, I'm, I'm sure we have, wow, numbers get tough, but when you start getting into high millions and then low billions, yeah, there's such a big difference. Yeah. That it's like, at nine million a day, how would we be able to feed it? But it's like, it's crazy that like a billion is that big. Yes, but nine million over the course of a year. So nine million mm. breadsticks every every day. Did you say that? Yeah, a nine million breadsticks that number, a day. That number, like, like baffles you a little. It bit. does because then you have to think there's wheat fields that are that big to supply just for breadsticks. Nine yeah. million breadsticks a day. Yes. So when you're flying, 
with your big ego from L.A. to yep. New York, and you're like, that's flyover country. Remember, yeah. your breadsticks come mm-hmm. from the breadbasket of America. Yeah, so the great Midwest. Yeah, get over yourself. You got Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, all the other ones. It's dope. So glorious, man. <laughs> yes, you're right, man. Because all you have on the coast mm-hmm. is big egos and, oh, man, I better stop. We're not going to go there. <laughs> We're not going to go there yeah. and talk about we, the water crisis we, in California because you guys want to grow your plants there. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll leave that alone. We love you on the coast also. We do. But when you, those on the coast that ignore or mock the center of the mm-hmm. country, you have no idea what you're doing. It should almost be like, hey, maybe we all fit inside a delicate ecosystem and we need to be kind to each other to be able to realize the full, I don't know, uh, abilities of our human race. Mm, that's good be nice to one of another i'm just on a be nice spree but my boys they were five two toddlers and they were fighting this morning yeah (laughs) so i was hey be nice that's where you are today yeah i'm in a be nice mood yes i love you all yeah i love you all as well too i love some of you more than others though yes yeah i love you (laughs) hey love you too man thanks man thanks for the breadstick lowdown no problem number six here we go while olive garden no longer has unlimited sticks yeah. Moment of silence. <clears throat> Fun fact. A moment. Uh, well, actually, let me deep. Let, I, I didn't write this down, but now I kind of feel like I have to yeah, dive us. deeper into this because we're doing good on time, too. Yeah. So while Olive Garden, Olive Garden no longer has unlimited breadsticks, started in 2020. Yeah. Obviously, with the pandemic, yeah. everything like that was going through. And then it was basically they moved to, to takeout, essentially, because everybody was doing yep. takeout just then. So you yep. can't have you're not going to drive back and forth with the breadsticks. No. Um, unless might. you're like next door. Yeah, I might. Now, there is a place that still does have unlimited breadsticks, uh, and I would drive to go ahead and get them because I did. I just drove from Texas to Michigan, and like the wow. first restaurant we went to was this place because my wife loves it so much, and I love their breadsticks, is a little chain called Fazoli's. 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 It's not here. It's in not Texas. here. It's, there is one way down south in Texas. Really? Like You have to travel. Like We only see it when we're going towards Houston. Yeah. And then in Michigan, I know of two. Oh my gosh. So they're like, they've taken a really bad hit, yeah. but at the same time, they still have their unlimited breadsticks and they're freaking great and they're extra buttery and everybody should go have a Fazoli's breadstick. Dude, that, I, I, that's all I, I could go for, for that six. right now. I could go for that right now. <laughs> it's no, just, bring it's just a pla- we're not even getting endorsed by Fazoli's. It's, if you guys want unlimited breadsticks, us here at Trivialism, we're looking out for you. You can go to Fazoli's and still get your unlimited sticks. Right now, man. Yeah. I want some right now. Mm. That sounds awesome. Love them sticks. Do you love them sticks? I, dude, I do. Especially with, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, the fettuccine, Alf, not fettuccine, but the Alfredo sauce mm. on the side, the little boat yep. that you can get yep. at, at the OG. Yep. That's not the OG, That's but not the OG. The OG. But they are the, they like are the there's OG. Ohio State and then yeah. there's the Ohio State. Yeah. There's OG and then the OG. This is not the OG. The OG is just right. OG. Right. I think we clarified yeah. that. I'll, I'll stop clarifying. But that, those breadsticks, dude, I, lo- I do love. Yeah. And I yeah. I have gone there and gotten the, uh, the soup and salad. Just the soup and salad? About, so, at Olive Garden? Yep. Yeah. To get the breadsticks. There, what's your favorite soup at Olive Garden? Oh, is it not? Is it Supa Toscana? It's potatoes and sausage, dude. It's ridiculous. Okay. That I is think, a good one. Yeah. I that think it's Supa Toscana. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken gnocchi for me. Ah, I what's like in it. that? Is that noodles? The chicken gnocchi. It's like a, it's like a, a white soup, mm-hmm. and it has the chicken in it, and it has, the, instead of noodles, it's uh, bits of potato. They're like gnocchi Ooh. potato, so it's like n- potato noodles. Yeah, you can't go wrong. No, no, it's really good. So, yeah. but like, that's like the only thing I think I like at Olive Garden. Yeah. So I went onto Pinterest and I learned how to make just the soup and then made it my own. So now I don't have to go to Olive Garden no, unless I right. want the sticks. Unless you want the sticks. And that's so hilarious that yeah. we're sitting here talking about like authentic bread sticks and we're talking <laughs> about Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. <laughs> but that's all we got in America. It, I mean, it, as far as for yeah. like chain restaurants. No, you're right. That, that's, that's as close as we got. There is a place though called Oliva's mm. in like North Fort Worth. Yeah. It's legit. Yeah. Italian. Legit Italian. It actually was voted like number one Italian in Fort Worth. That's awesome cool. place. Yeah. It's really good. You know what? To match that shout out, I'll go and throw out Buca de Beppo. Buca de Beppo? Buca uh, de Beppo out in Buca uh, South de Beppo. Lake. Yeah. I've Buca, been there for a yeah, birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Out in South Lake. Pretty good. At South Lake, Texas. Yeah. I will throw them out as well, too. They 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 keep it pretty authentic as well. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It, there are some great places, especially those hole in the wall places. Right. Of course. They, they're always good. But I went, okay. In 2001, went to Boston. Mm-hmm. We go down this dark alley. Yeah. Take a right into this restaurant. Yeah. In Boston. Yeah. And had some of the most incredible Italian food I've Let's had in go. my life. Dude, it was insane. But yeah, that's where you're going to find it. Oh, yeah. 
But if you don't, and you're at North Fort Worth, and there's an Olive Garden, yeah, you'll get your sodium intake for the next three weeks. But it'll taste, you know, it'll taste good. It'll be delightful. Um, but yeah, so apologies to anybody who listens to this from Italy. We have, we know what real Italian food tastes yeah, like. Yeah, it's just we can't attribute Please don't it to everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> more than you probably already do. Yeah, right. <laughs> the reason for the invention of the breadstick. Are ah, you ready for number seven? Yes. Let's go. I've been holding this off because I was in the anticipation. Yeah, no, no. Give it, give it to me here. The reason for the invention of the breadstick. So there was a baker named Antonio Brunero. Huh. Antonio Brunero. Beautiful. Created it to be easier to digest for the Duke, Victor Amadis II of Savoy. Oh, wow. So his name was Duke Victor Amadis II of Savoy. Mm -hmm. And he had digestive issues in his childhood. Yeah. So this baker was like, I'm going to figure something out that works for you. Wow. And thus he created the breadstick. Good dude. In 14 BC. Remember, we talked about that earlier. Oh, yeah. That's a long so, time ago. So, yeah. So um, that was the reason for its creation was basically a bread that was easier to digest. Because remember, breadsticks, well, authentic breadsticks, I have a little bit more of a crunch to them instead. Yes. They're still long. They still have some soft centerness. But for the most part, they, they have more of a crunch. So is it like... Digest. Um, almost. So, what I'm picturing in my mind is there no leaven in a in the original breadstick? Like, I would love to tell you right now. Yeah, I, I, because I wonder if that's what causes because yeast provides the leaven, right? And that's correct. the rise. You are correct. So, if it's a cracker, like you know, uh, what, what do you what almost do we like? Eat? Almost like for like seder. Yes, I was going to say Passover. Yeah, yeah, for for Passover, Matzah. very similar. Yeah, where it's unleavened. Unleavened. Right there. So, yeah. I wonder if he had maybe um a form of. Crohn's or Ooh, gluten tolerance? That could intolerance? Be. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, like I just started thinking about that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's what uh, is able to help. So, well, maybe I'm number sure. eight may help answer your question. Okay. All right. Oh, Let's man, see you thought this through. <laughs> Look at you. What type of bread is breadsticks? Multiple choice A, <sighs> biscuit. Okay. B, beignet. Mm. C, Leavened dry bread, mm. or D, Italian sourdough. I'm gonna go with Italian sourdough. D. Good choice. Is that my it? Friend. Did I get one? No, it's C. Leavened dry bread. <laughs> it's leavened. Yeah, I was just happy that you picked that one because that was my trap one. Original. Original. Was leaven? So it was leaven what, bread? What was leaven dry bread? Leaven dry bread. Yeah. So. That okay, so it still did have yeast in it. Yeah, so it's basically uh, a lean formation that doesn't contain an added sugar or honey. Interesting. Yeah, wow. so you don't get that chemical reaction so much that causes it to rise. So it wow. is still leavened; okay. it's not unleavened, um, but it's technically a dry bread because it doesn't contain added sugar oh. or honey. Interesting. Yeah. Well, and it's the gluten in the wheat, not the yeast, anyway. Now that I think right, about it. Right. 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 So it could have been something else. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow, that is very interesting. It was super interesting. I know. I was like, okay. oh, interesting. Yeah. And then my wife helped me come up with uh, two of the other biscuit and beignet. A beignet I, sounds beignet. so familiar, and I can't remember what that it's actually like a, is. It's a type of bread, but it's like a sandwich. Oh, okay. Kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I try throwing some some uh, familiar ones in there. Um. Number nine hits with some familiarity. Okay. Because it, it's about me. Oh. Are you ready? You know yeah. me. Y'all know me. Yeah. Um, number nine, I've choked on breadsticks three times in my life. All before the age of 15. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's like something happened after I could drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> Never choked on a breadstick again. That's wild, man. Yeah. Anything like serious? Just a, like like that five, six seconds of terror. Really. Like, is this over all right? Like, I really thought I was invincible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're saying like a piece of bread like that big can just Take end it all? Yeah. 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 And so you know what's funny? After three close attempts like that, you think I would care more. Yeah. <laughs> no. Don't. No realization or epiphany moment. You uh, just kept going. Honestly, I moved over to garlic bread instead of breadsticks. After that moment. Yeah, I became really hardcore with garlic bread, actually. There was a point in my life where probably about a year, if you went into my Facebook or any type of social media, nothing wow. but garlic bread memes. <laughs> it was from my disdain of, of breadsticks. Yeah. Yeah, they tried to kill me, you know? Wow, three times. Yeah, but after I've gotten closer to Christ, you know, uh, it's like, <laughs> um, you know, being nice to your enemies is like pouring hot coals upon their head. Yeah. Breadsticks, my enemies. So I was like, I'm going to devote this entire episode to breadsticks and oh, just gosh. really like lift them up. This has been therapeutic for you. No, I'm my I'm, my heart rate's pretty high. <laughs> I'm actually not happy about lifting up these little 
<laughs> little jerks. Murder sticks. Yeah, these little murder sticks is more of what they are. Yeah, it's not yeah. shotguns aren't murder sticks. It's bread sticks. <laughs> Shotguns are boom sticks. Yes. Yeah. Shotguns oh, are boom sticks. Yes. Yeah. What are what is they called? Fire sticks also. Fire sticks as well. Yeah. Fire sticks as well. Yeah. So I've choked on breadsticks three times in my life. Wow. Yeah. That is news. Have you ever choked on a breadstick before? Uh not that I remember. Not that I remember. What is like your least favorite food that you've ever choked on? God, it's probably hard candy like Jolly Rancher or something. So like, get that moment. Where joy. It's like, yes. You know? Yeah. And you're like, Won't oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it will, uh, maybe it will, you know, it'll get, it, it, what What am I trying to think of? The word where it like will dissipate. Regurgi- oh, or it, it will dissolve. Dissolve yeah. quick enough. Dissolve, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Dissolve quick enough so I can breathe again. Like you have these moments, mm. like you said, of terror and you're having yeah. these thoughts of like, this is it. Yeah, this is it. This uh, yeah, or ice. That's happened to me with ice before. But ice. we're talking about under age 15 uh, uh, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, ice is a good one because it can melt. And you yes. Can down if you yes. hold your breath for that long. That's a long time um, to hold your breath. I think that is a long time. I I clock in at like a minute thirty. That's it. When I had a when I was under the age of fifteen, though. Yeah. I'm not making this up. I don't know why fifteen is such a big deal. We yeah. lived in a house with a pool in the backyard. And I can yeah. I could hold my breath for two minutes. Yeah, I feel like you can do more when so you're a kid. Maybe the reason we had a pool is so that way if I was choking on the breadstick, I wouldn't panic completely and yeah. I had enough time to go into the other room and get the Heimlich. You know. Yeah. 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 No. In, I was in by that myself moment, too. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. I don't know if you really are able to move because you're in mm-hmm. shock. Yeah. Like somebody usually has to see you and be yeah. like, oh, something. Because you're like in survival mode. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was the thing. I was in the room by myself, just munching on my bread, yep. you know, terrorizing the cat. Yeah. And, you know, bread sticks and cats. And yep. then uh, and cats. just look. And it's there. And you're like, oh. And then when you realize it go down, then it's the panic look of like dad's in the bathroom and mom's over here. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking around the house. Yeah. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die alone. Maybe that's why I'm such a family man. I was like, I really just don't want to die alone. Wow. Those stinking breadsticks have done a number on me, my dude. They have, dude. Yeah. You might want to go see Zane. Uh, I should that. go see Zane. Shout out to Zane. Yeah. Zane, help I me with my breadstick. Uh, yeah? No, on well, Marco Polo. So I don't, uh, I don't really, you know, I got to return your polo. Sorry. I got to re- remember to return those polos too. I've got a few. Sorry if I haven't, yeah. re- I haven't returned your Marco Polo. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's been a while. It could be the other way around. It could be the other way around. <laughs> I need to check my polos. <laughs> number 10. <laughs> The record for the most breadsticks eaten. Okay. We had we, we, we had to go into a, to a world record when yeah, it comes to these did. breadsticks. Yeah. On Tuesday, February 27th of 2007, Ryan Burke ate 20 Fazoli's breadsticks in 37 minutes. 20? I feel like it should be more. Doesn't sound like a lot. No, but I... But it is. 20 breadsticks. Because what's the hot dog record? 77? That's a trained professional... That's so true. the story That's with true. this guy right here is that yeah. he was just like bored one day. Yeah. And he was like, I'm just going to go ahead and like leave for work early. Yeah. And on his way to work, he saw Fazoli. So he called up his friends and says, hey, I'm going to set the record before work. Yeah. And he did it. And so the re- so uh, according to like the actual like record, he got up, did multiple walks around. He walked around the restaurant a couple of times as well, too. Yeah. Um, he has an unconfirmed deuce that he dropped. <laughs> but I guarantee you I'm dropping a deuce. Um, and then he had a throw up as well too. So like, there was a lot of things that had to happen in order for it to become a world record. Yeah. Um, but he got it. He did That's it. He achieved awesome. something. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I I actually sympathize with him a little bit. I had a fantasy football punishment where I had to sit in a Waffle House for twenty four hours. I remember watching this. But every waffle I ate could take off an hour. Uh huh. I was like three waffles in, and I thought I was dying. Yeah. Like it's like it, it's a lot. And that was an hour every waffle? An hour. A waffle took Take away, away one hour. Waffle. Okay, yeah. so you ended up 21 hours in there? Well, luckily, we did it to where people could chime in on Facebook that's, and eat a waffle with me. That's So right. I was really only there for probably about six or seven hours. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that worked yeah. out. It wasn't too bad. But I still had to be in a waffle house for six or seven hours. Yeah, which, I mean, <laughs> you may want to get a cancer screening. Yeah, a cancer screening, and then if it comes back positive, I'm sure I got COVID. Hey, yo. <laughs> Are you ready for a quizzle, Dizzle? I'm ready, dude. Bring it. Quizzle. Okay. What country holds the record for the longest breadstick in the world? Are you ready? I'm ready. A, Italy. B, Mexico. C, USA. Or D, Hungary. Oh, God. I love how you threw Hungary in there, even if that's not the answer. (laughs) Well, um, maybe it is. I, maybe it is. I'm, I, they were hungry. I mean, they were. Maybe I'm they trying made to make a plan where I know. USA, man. We're all about go big or go home. 
Final answer? Yeah, final answer. USA. Yes, USA. 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 Is that yeah. right? No, it's in Italy. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I can't say, you can't say USA and not expect no, you you to chime in with a cheer. You got a chant. I should have gone with Italy twice. You should have gone with Italy twice. Damn, it was the trick. It was Italy twice. Yeah, Italy twice. <laughs> Uh, knew yeah, it. The longest breadstick in the world, yeah. Udine, Italy. It was prepped in three hours. Uh, it was three hundred and eighty-two feet long. Hey, three hours? Mm-hmm. Dad, prepped in three hours. Yeah. Um, this happened on May eleventh of twenty nineteen, and then it was served to the public with a slice of ham. Okay. They just like here's a slice of ham for this as well. Wow. So now I'm wondering. I, I don't think I've ever had, unless I was eating like a ham pan, a ham and pineapple pizza. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had ha- just ham with a breadstick. Before. No, that's odd. That's odd. But this is in Italy. You're good to question it. Yeah. They love ham. I feel like they know what they're doing, right? They do. They had the answer for both of these. Yeah. They, that's got to mean do. something. Yes. And they make prosciutto. Like, yeah. They know how to ham it up. They do. Uh, I think I got to try some ham in a breadstick. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely, yes. I'm, I'm just thinking about that. I was like, that's a football field. Like, how do you actually bake that? Mm-hmm. You don't bake that in one piece, obviously. I'm assuming you got to build a big old, like, brick oven, almost, like a long one, and just have... That's a long brick oven. That's a long brick oven, but there have been things made out of brick that are longer, like the Great Wall of China. That's true, but, like, that's there for, like, ever. Like, would you just put that together? I mean, and then take it apart? Bro, or is the, it still there? The Italians. They, they built the aqueducts. The Italians love yeah. pasta. They love pasta. What goes good with pasta? Breadsticks. Breadsticks. And ham. Yeah. Apparently. So China, they defended their country. They did. The Italians. Fed everybody. They built themselves a breadstick. Oh, a brick oven. <laughs> a brick oven um, for breadsticks. I, I love, love it, it. I love the Italians. I love so it. Much. I Big love e, it. Except for during like... Mm, Mussolini era. But, yeah. <clears throat> well, Mussolini. It was just him, yeah, though. It, it was the just people. him. It wasn't the people, You're right. which is why he probably killed them. What a jerk. He, he was a jerk. Love you, Italians. We do. Yeah. And we're really sorry about Mussolini. I don't know why I'm sorry about Mussolini. I'm just sorry you guys had to go through that. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. But then again, every country's got their things. That's true. And on that note, I'm Juan. That's Jordan. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, mm-hmm. share, send it to your grandma older generation send it to my grandma send it to your grandma yeah. send it to jordan's grandma um older generations love us we got them faces yeah we do so you yeah. want to you want to get in good with the grandparents yep send us an ep- send them an episode send them jordan one yeah yeah until next time uh yeah just really just don't watch she hulk it's not don't that <laughs> it's not that great i'm gonna go that that's good advice <laughs> see ya <Until> next time <laughs>